Hello, YouTube. It's, well, yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not even kidding about that. It's been a year since the last video or stream that I did. Uh, apologies for leaving you guys hanging. Uh -huh, no, just kidding. Um, I was really dry for content, and I started uploading on TikTok. By the way, um, my ads in the description. Um, so yeah, I figured, hey, you know what, why not? I'll do something different that I have yet to be able to do. Um, and that is a Genshin build review. Now, um, I'm reviewing the characters that I have built. Um, and by built, I mean a majority of the characters that I actually have a solid build for, or, you know, a solid work in progress in. And I'll, I'm kind of going to be sharing my account, and I guess this is for future me to look back on. Um, because I was actually kind of curious as to when I was like, you know, playing earlier, I was like, hey, why was I leveling up that flower? Because I was looking through Google Photos, because I have that, because my storage on my phone is absolutely terrible, um, that I actually did that. We're going to be reviewing all of my Genshin builds. And yes, these four are my main party, and you can... Get at me all you want. I don't care. This is my first time actually editing a Genshin video, and I'm not sure how well the quality is going to turn out. And also, my frames are probably going to be really trashy because I still have not sorted that out. I'm kind of proud of my builds, and also, I'm not in a hurry to finish this video. It's coming out in 2022, which is, it's, again, once again, sorry for leaving my YouTube channel hanging dry for literally a year. I'm just really dry on content. I've only spent $5 on my account, so yeah, we're getting into it. First and foremost, my uh, Chanyin build, because I'm a Chanyin main, if you didn't know, <laughs> have since, I, since I've gotten him, really. He has not come off my party yet. Um, same thing goes for Yinfei, and then I guess Barbara. Same thing for Toma, I guess, but he's a newer release character, so I can't say that for certainty. Anyway, um, yeah. It's kind of average here, and yeah. Um, what I am happy about is his ratio. Now, let me show you what his original ratio is. Um, and the reason why his build is so good is because, yeah, I feel kind of ashamed for just now sharing this with you guys. I uh, wished on the weapon banner. I've only spent $5 on this game, and from what I've wished on on the weapon banner, I've gotten incredibly lucky. <laughs> It's almost fully maxed out, and um, I can use this on Noel if I so please, but I don't have Noel built. Um, and yeah, I'm actually proud of my Chanyun build because it's kind of average, I guess. <laughs> Getting into death, we have um, Chanyun's build, which is two piece Blizzard Strayer and two piece Shiminawa. Um, yeah, I have better luck, apparently, with Shiminawa than I do gladiators. Yeah, I really need to change his artifacts. <laughs> anyway, um, his flower is actually incredibly lucky because uh, before I had the storm, this would have been, like, the, the new weapon. Um, this would have been, like, a total downfall of me. I guess it'll depend, but I do not rely on crit damage because of that weapon and how good it is. This is his plume. Again, not really good, especially in comparison to this one, which has more crit damage but no crit rate, but I, uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna need the crit rate. I, I, I want to be able to crit often. <laughs> so there's that. And I guess I got lucky because it didn't roll into HP% percent once, but I got a lot of attack rolls. When it comes to sands, I've been trying for so freaking long and I have yet to get a good sans. I swear to God, I pulled this sans out, and it was, it was like flawless up until the last roll, which actually went into HP, I believe. Going into the goblet, I'm really proud because any time I go into this damn domain, I always get severed fate. And then going into the circlet, which actually is really good, but not in comparison to the one that was his originally yeah i said it was his originally because that's on toma um and this is actually one of the best circlets that i've had i've had great luck with shimmy uh circlets going into constellations chanyun got to c3 
Um, also moving forward, I have triple crowns. Great job. Okay, now we're going on the Yanfei. Yanfei, Yanfei, I don't care. I honestly say it wrong anyway. And I apologize because I can never say her name pr properly. I can't even speak properly sometimes. Okay, anyway. Her ratio is actually super good in comparison because she basically has a guaranteed charge attack because of her constellation. Um, hers too, sorry. Um, when it comes to weapons, I have Lost Prayer to the Sacred Winds, which is actually probably one of the best weapons for her. For, um, for her build, I guess I was thinking something weird. Um, it's kind of weird because I want to do something weirder with her build. Um, my goal for 2022 is to try and get her on Four Piece Crimson Witch. And reason being is because I believe I'm going to take Yenfei off of my main team. And it's not for any personal reasons. She's a really good character and I'm still keeping her built. Solidly, at least. Um, but... And here's the thing. I want to try and get Barbara off my team, too. Um, but I've relied on Barbara so much now as a permanent healer that I don't think I'm getting rid of her for a while. Um, until I lose the 50-50 to a Chi-Chi. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, that's not gonna happen, just an FYI. Um. <laughs> Let's get into her build. 24% crit damage, overall kind of average on her substats. Yeah. Anyway, going on to Plume, definitely could use a better Plume. Um, and I think I need to write this down too. <laughs> but I have her on a great Plume. When it comes to her sands, I think I got incredibly lucky on the sands. I got... 3.5, 21, 72, and then 5.2, which actually this is probably almost perfect, uh, except for the fact that that attack is not attack for some, so, yeah. When it comes to Goblet, I also got, I'm, I'm in love with the Goblet, bro. Uh, it's also really good. <coughs> okay. We have my crit damage circlet. That's my Anfei build. Um, she's at C3, and her talents are, um... Balanced out at 9, 11, 8. Um, I do want to crown Yenfei's E. Toma. But I was dedicated to Toma since his leaks first were out there. I was like, this guy's hot. He looks so sick. And, I, yeah, I, I kind of went a little all out on his build. So, his ratio is not the best, but it's not that bad either. In comparison to Yenfei's, it kind of looks pitiful, um, because she has 57, 193, but that's because she has more crit rate, and, uh, yeah. So, yeah, he has really good energy recharge, um, great ratio, no extra defense, which I am, I, I, I thought I perfected his build, and I have two different, like, ways one with extra defense, one with less energy recharge. Uh, Staff of Homa, uh, Refinement Rank 1, because I got incredibly lucky. Um, so yeah. Um, moving on, I have Two-Piece Emblem and Two-Piece Crimson Witch. Um, yeah. Um, really average on the rolls. Anything works with Toma as long as it's not defense. I want to work on improving his plume. When it comes to Sans, energy recharge is literally like the only option for him because he sucks so much at getting energy. When it comes to Goblet, yeah, it rolled pretty, pretty nice. There. And then when it comes to Circlet, 23% crit damage, which can we just get an applause for that? This was Tron Yoon's original circlet, and I gave it to Toma because I was like, you know what? It has defense on it. I can't have that on this build. But, since I got the new weapon for Tron Yoon, 
It scales off of defense. So, a win-win situation now. Rest in peace to all the Prima Jones that I lost that day. I did not get a single copy of Toma, so I don't have any cons. Um, I lost the 50-50 for Hu Tao, which I didn't want in the first place, so I guess thank you, Mona, for saving me for the first time, because I actually did not want Hu Tao. I also have him triple crowned because I'm, I'm that dedicated. <laughs> anyway, here's my Barber build. Uh, 27,000 HP, 600 attack, 58 defense. Not the best build, but, you know, it's, it's support, so, you know, whatever. Anyway. Um, on to artifacts. I have two-piece Maiden Blood and two-piece Tenacity. Um, it makes enough sense to me. Her build's not good, so I'm just gonna kind of breeze through it. <laughs> Um, definitely not the best build, but I plan on improving it. Um, I think Ayaka has one of those builds that I'm just not sure about. Yeah. I'm not sure. Her talents are really low-leveled, because I have yet to put enough... Uh, actually, they're kind of leveled to the max. Aside from a normal attack, which I probably should buff up, but it's fine. Again, artifacts are kind of average... I've not had any good luck, so, yeah. Bennett build, yeah, no, I don't have him fully built. I just threw some Noble Bludge that I had just kind of laying in my inventory on him. Yeah, definitely still improving on it. Um, and I'm also trying to level Bennett up to level 80 at least, so that way I can get kind of some of his better artifacts and stuff. I do have a gene build. Yeah, I do have a, have the gene build. <laughs> um, I want to change it up a bit, but I've had... I don't know. I've just had really weird luck with this domain. Love-hate relationship, because it loves to give me artifacts like this, but, like... It also gave me this, which... Who am I going to use it? I know I could use this for Diona, but as of right now, I want to use it on her. But I do not have the motivation to build Diona as of right now. That is probably going to be one of my resolutions, though, for my Genshin account, is to build all the healers that I have. Um, and I'll probably... I'll probably make a list. Like, after this video comes out, I'll make, I'll make a list of just everything that I need. Yeah, crit rate, because, yeah. And I don't think, yeah, no, her talents are. Sucrose, again, doesn't have a good a build. Uh, went into the domain once and came out with a bunch of weird stuff, so. Yeah, like, weird elemental bonuses and stuff. Noel technically has a build, but... She doesn't. <laughs> I want to build her as a healer. Um, because I feel like I'd rely on her as a healer. And because of the fact that, you know, she's a shield healer. She's a shield heal. heal oh my god! She's a healer that can also shield. Which is also super rare. Um, when it comes to characters. The only other character that can really heal is, like, Diona, and that's not very reassuring. <laughs> um, so I have two-piece, uh, Severed Fate in two-piece, um, Husk, because of the fact that it gives defense, and also, uh, energy recharge on that. Actually, I don't think I need the energy recharge on it. I think I, I think I might overall change that to probably... Maiden Beloved. Healing Effectiveness, and I believe it just is the same. I'd say that, but, yeah, uh, it's gonna be whatever. I originally had this on for, like, kind of a DPS, but, yeah, it's whatever. Um, and then I have this on for right now, 
I have no idea. I'm doing a pure healer here. Pure healer build. And yeah, this I guess is just so far all she has. I want to get a healing bonus for Noelle rather than defense on this because I want to um put uh not this what's it called uh the thresher on her whenever I'm like you know using her in the lanes and stuff. Mm, I guess we're on to Mona build. Wood six fifty seven. Oh, right, I changed her build up. <laughs> Here it is. Here is her build. That's not your build either. Here, how about I give you this? Give you more crit rate, how about that? That would work, wouldn't it? Yeah, no, whatever. Oh well. I think that's literally like all the characters I have built. Aside from that, the only other person I'd say is Fischl, and she's not built. I mean, I kind of have a build for you, Xingling. I put it on you because, you know, put the placeholder for any other <laughs> pyro character that, you know, would want to come home, but, you know. I think we... I think I had this on you, actually. Right? Probably. Probably had it on you originally. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Definitely want to work on your build, too, Shangling, because it's. You'll probably be a really good character if I build you correctly, which has not happened. Um, I have the catcher on her, because, you know. If I'm prioritizing her burst, then you go. Boom. Going into overall overview of my account, though, um, I have all the Inazuman waypoints unlocked, including uh, the finishing of the islands. I have almost gr I have great percentage except for um, we're just gonna do this map. I have 89 in Surrey Island, which there's some Electroculus in like the bottom of the peak. Uh, which is a part of a quest that I have not did, so there's that. When it comes to Leeway, I guess the same can be said. Dragon's Finds at 86, and yeah, I have everything at least at 50% exploration, which is good, but it's not good enough. <laughs> um, and I, I want to plan on trying to get Mondstadt 100% uh, in 2022, which is probably not going to happen from experience, but we're fine. When it comes to weapons, I've only had four five stars um and they're actually most part crit rate or crit damage which i guess is cool i have refinement two prototype cake with an extra one of 40 um have two of these uh because i use this weapon a lot um, especially the five engine um because then it has officially stolen the um prototype and cooler whatever um refinement three prototype amber refinement five catch because i was just refinement one i was in the corner i was like catch that just in case um see word at refinement five obviously staying at refinement two uh refinement one refinement three uh refinement one streamless um refinement one kids here which actually i'm very interested in this here i kind of want to use it on someone but uh that's a lot of and i have to do that so yeah <laughs> So two stars over, refinement three with it, refinement one's official, refinement five dual kills, two perception, one in slasher, uh, and one of those refinement one loot, uh, the original bow, which is really interesting, that one's on diamond, but, yeah. Um, refinement three bonus, um, only refinement one proper, because, yeah. Um, refinement four from the sword, I think it's a lot of options in the game, this is the highest refinement I've had on a weapon that isn't free, so yeah. Uh, refinement five here, I have another one from the bed, white lines, refinement one, refinement three sacrificial sword, refinement three, uh, the waltz, uh, one for the haunted bow, uh, one for the sacrificial fragments, uh, diamonds, fragments, can't see, this time. Um, refinement two bonus codex, one for bonus defense, refinement five stars, spindle, even though I'm not using it for anyone, because there are no defense soldiers, which I have, I'm still using it, because it's really, really good, actually. Um, mine's also, um, at your So overall, character is really good, and, yeah. I don't have that many artifacts that I can really share. Um, I have, like, a lot of different resources. I actually have three Dream Solvents, if I can remember that correctly. Uh. If I can find them. Yeah, I have three Dream Solvents. Five fragile resin. I have the all of the statues almost maxed out, minus the electro, because of so yeah. Intertwined fate, dream solvent. Yeah, adeptal energy. I have five fragile resin, which I'm kind of conserving that for as long as I can. 
Um, great amount of resources. Four different prototypes, which I have one catalyst, which I plan on using for Amber. The prototype Amber, sorry. And I don't know what to do with the two polearm belays yet, because, yeah. I don't have enough ore to make anything, though, so, yeah. A lot of different foods, but that's not really mattering. I have three crumbs that I'm planning on using on Ayakul, which, god, it's gonna be a while until he comes I have everything I need for Ayatol since he's rumored to be a Hydro user, so I have practically everything I need. Yeah. Um, aside from that, I have a great amount of resources and a great amount of books that I'm planning on using. So I guess now we can go to the important stuff. <laughs> so we have five hours until the next shop refresh which has the black cliff weapons um so yeah <laughs> i might purchase one of the black cliff weapons because of the fact that they're black cliff weapons so yeah i have 24 wishes that are going towards one of three different characters shenha kazuha or ayato now if Ayato is rumored to come in end of 2.6, I'm just going to go ahead and go for Shinhe. But, if he's rumored to come end of 2.5, I think I'll just skip Shinhe, because she'll have a rerun, and I'll just go for Ayato. Because I have that guaranteed, and I already won Ayato. And we're just having, we're just talking hypothetically. <laughs> Um, and if I get Shenhe out of these 20 wishes, cool. If I don't, I'll just bring it up to Ayato. I don't care if I'll get her or not. Um, until I see her kit, of course. I have no wishes. I, I'm gonna check my pity real quick while we're here. Yeah, this is my, um, pity and stuff. So yeah, um, this is it. This is everything you need to know. I guess, Happy New Year. Um, and I guess, hopefully, my Genshin account gets a lot better. And some name cards, uh, don't have that many. I only have Barbara, Kaching, Chanyun, Yinfei, and Toma's, uh, uh, name card, which... Hopefully, I can get more in the future. I'm hoping to get Noelle's next. So, I guess, yeah. Um, yeah. Let's get into a few things that I'm hoping Genshin has for this up-and-coming year. Now, I don't want to say anything because Nihoyo is a really weird company. But, um, I'm praying Ayato comes in 2.6, the first half of 2.6, and that Kazuha comes right after, so like the second half of 2.6, because they're both Inazuma characters, and you know, Ayato doesn't come with Yae, who actually got confirmed for 2.5, um, then you know, it makes sense to put him in the next update with Kazuha, and if Kazuha is before, then I don't know what to say, because I would be miserably disappointed. <laughs> I'm really just praying for a bunch of new characters with great kits. Um, not to be relied on other characters, but I guess who I get is who I get. And also, if I lose my guarantee, it better be to someone that I wanted. Um, I love my account. And I hit AR-56 not that long ago, so I wonder what I'll hit next year. Um, hopefully, probably 58, maybe. I guess this concludes my account review for the year. And I think, yeah, this is 58 minutes long. So, I'll have a lot of fun editing this.